Don't you hate it when you watch your friends' videos, they film it on their iPhone, the camera's too far away, you can't hear the sound very well? Well, we're gonna fix it with a before and after. Before is black and white, and after is in color. So naturally, you're asking yourself, what is this devil magic that Jason's come up with to be able to fix this sound so much better than what it was before? Let's have a look. These two are the Rode Wireless Go system. The one here on the left is the receiver, the one on the right is the transmitter. It's got a microphone built into the top, as you can see with the silver shiny part. And then on the side there, you've also got a input there for a pin mic, which is an optional extra. They've also got a clip on the back here, which fit on the top of your DSLR camera. It's a cold shoe mount. This little piece here is the wind muff, which you can just attach to the top. It clips in very easily. It can pop out a little easily, so just be careful with it, but you can definitely use it, and it definitely stops the wind. It's incredible. Then on the side here, this extra cable is an optional extra. It's called an SC7, made by Rode as well. It's got a regular stereo jack on one side, which is known as a TRS, meaning tip, ring in the middle, and sleeve down the bottom. Then this is a TRRS with a tip on the top, two rings in the middle and a sleeve on the bottom. Obviously they're upside down, which is why I explained them that way around. And then of course you need to attach that to the white cable that comes with your iPhone, which will allow to go into the lightning cable port. And then that gray plug there goes onto the end, goes straight in. Let's go for a wander around and have a listen to the sound. Okay, so now I'm in a busy street corner here just by Omoto Sando train station. I'm doing selfie mode. So much noise in the background here. You've got trucks going past, you've got people walking around, you've got all these things going on here, and it's very noisy in the background. But let's have a listen to what happens to the sound when I throw in the road wireless go. Now, is it just me or does that sound a hell of a lot better to you guys to listen to? I mean, I'm not monitoring the sound right now because I can't unfortunately monitor while I'm recording. It's a bit of a downside, but you know, most people don't want to walk around with headphones on while they're monitoring their video and talking to their video and doing their vlog and what have you. But I can put the phone wherever. Yes, that looks pretty obvious there on my shirt because I'm wearing a white shirt. I intentionally wore this shirt for the sake of doing this video so you can see where it is and what it's doing. Uh, I could take off the wind sock. Here's the difference in sound with that taken off. So it's a lot less obvious there, but there's a little bit of wind out today. So I just wanted to put this on just to be safe, but that's great. You don't need to buy an extra microphone. I know in the US, for example, it's $199. In Australia, I think it's $299. That's amazing. You know, you can fit this thing in your pocket. It's small to carry around. It's not much else to put in with your iPhone. It even comes in a really cool pouch to carry it around with. Let's go into a couple of other places and I'll show you some other examples of what it sounds like in different environments. As you can see, I'm in the Apple Store now. If I brought my Canon 5D Mark IV with me into the Apple Store, they would kick me out in a second. But I did a little selfie video with my iPhone and nobody cares. However, this is the sound on the iPhone. Now let's switch over to the Rode Wireless Go. And even here in the Apple Store, as you can hear, there's people talking, but the sound is so much better quality with this thing. It's ridiculous. I uh, could put the phone down and walk away from it. So you know what, I'll do that right now. So now outside, here we are. I am within arm's reach length of my phone. You can see I can pretty much touch the camera there. And this is the sound quality out here. Now as I move back further, here's the sound that you're gonna hear of my voice while I'm trying to talk to the camera. And as you can hear, you can probably barely hear me and I'm like two meters away from the camera. If I move all the way back to the wall, and keep my voice at the same level, you probably can't even hear me. I don't know, but can you hear me all the way over there? Yeah. Thanks, girls. So now here I am standing at the same point. I'm basically just arm's length out from my camera. If I step back to the line, which is about two meters behind me, you can hear I don't have to raise my voice and the audio is perfect back here where I am. If I keep stepping backwards, the audio works perfectly and you can hear me no problem. And I don't have to raise my voice once again because the audio is all getting picked up thanks to the magic of the Rode Wireless Go. See. This is why, it might sound like an advertisement, but damn, I love using this thing. All these people are passing me. You can still hear me perfectly. There's nothing interrupting the sound between me and the Rode Wireless Go and the camera, and everything's sweet and perfect. You've only got a certain distance range, but for a little product that's as small as this, I mean, you know, that size is incredible. It's tiny. The transmitter's the same size as the receiver. Unfortunately, I don't have a second camera right now to be able to show you how I've got it hooked up. So let me find a way to make that happen. 
So thanks to a very kind stranger who's just passed by here, I just want to let you have a look at my setup here. So that's how simple it is, right? I've got this attached via a little setup that I bought, but the Rode Wireless Go is just plugged in through there. There's the cable, I've clipped it on. It's that simple and it sits really, really out of the way to do exactly what I need, magic. The point is, this thing is just a marvel to be able to use and for the price that you have to pay for it, it's nothing to get quality on your videos and that's what counts because people, I've said it before, I'll say it again, if your sound sucks, your video sucks. Here's another cool idea, all right? Clip it to your shoe if you're doing like a little movie, you want to be able to get sound effects without having to record sound effects later. Clip it to the shoe, watch this. Next, you see this big amount of people down here walking through this area here. This is getting into Harajuku. I'm going to walk through that big crowd of people and show you the sound difference with and without the wireless go. As you can see, I am now amongst a lot of people at a crossing and this is just the sound going straight in from the iPhone. I'll just stay here in the middle of the intersection for a second so you can hear. There's the sound difference actually. There's more people walking around me and being louder and what have you on this particular direction than what there was on the original direction I was going. So I'm on a different intersection spot, but even still you can hear there's lots and lots of sound. You just may have heard that guy say, yo, what's up? But it would have been a lot louder if I had been doing it straight through the iPhone. But this wireless go just sounds fantastic. Even the traffic in the background behind me doesn't feel all that loud. Now a small confined space. This is an elevator with just the natural audio from the iPhone. And again in the exact same elevator with the wireless go. And other people are about to get in so I better shut up and not look like such an idiot talking to my phone. Here is a really cool little side tip that I'm going to give you for an idea for what you can do for your videos to really improve things with your sound. That's kind of cool and outside the box. Right here in front of me, there is this little yellow box here that is used for traffic signals or something like that. I'm going to lead the wireless go on here and run across the road and listen to the sound. So how cool was that? I could leave that sitting there, be across the street, and that thing still picks up the signal and gets those cars passing. I need to put in a disclaimer here about the distance thing. I really couldn't get too far away from my wireless go because here in Tokyo, there are so many Wi-Fi signals everywhere you go. A lot of people have been doing videos out in the countryside where they can get 50, 80, even sometimes 100 meters away from it. You can't do that in crazy areas like Tokyo where there's just Wi-Fi signal after Wi-Fi signal. So just keep that in mind. So that's it for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on the Rode Wireless Go. This thing's not expensive. It's very easy to use. It's so easy to plug in and set up and just go with. And your audio quality completely improves on your videos. I mean, you know, whether you use it with an iPhone, whether you use it with a GoPro, whether you use it with an Osmo, whether you use it with a DSLR, whatever you use it with, it's great. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care. Rock on. I hope you enjoyed that video of me using the Wireless Go with an iPhone. On this side here is my video of me showing you how to use the Wireless Go with a GoPro. Now this applies to any action cam. On this side is me showing you my Wireless Go together with my Zoom F4 field recorder filmed on my Canon 5D Mark IV which I'm filming on right now. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Hopefully you'll come back for more of my videos and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.